Hi, folks. Uh, for this scenario, it's quite a simple one compared to the other scenario videos. Uh, we have two input tables and one output. I'll t I'll just explain the scenario first, then I'll take you through the solution execution, right? So if you see this particular Spark interview scenario, uh, there are two input tables and they're expecting one output table, right? So in this particular input table, uh, if you see the left one, they are expecting to find uh, in such a way that get the max of left table, right? Which would be three, right? For example, take the max of first table, which would be three. That data should not be there in the right table. That max can be anything. So remove that max value from the second table and generate the remaining table. That's what they're expecting. So this is my output data. One, two and four, five. This is what they're expecting as an output. See the output here? So in other words, in, in writing, right, the, the max of first table, which is three in our case, should not present in the second table. That's what the requirement is. In our case, the max of first table is three. That should not exist in the right table. To perform this and find the solution for this, we have to get the max of first table first. How we can do it? I already made everything ready. The tables are also available. You need not to read any file. This is programmatically created, not a problem. So let's find the max of first table first, right? So, well, uh, let me show you the data. Yeah, these are the two tables. So let's get the max of first table. Well, max df is equal to df1 dot select exprr of max of call as call. So let's get the max data first. I'm finding the max of the first table. The df1 is the first table, max of call as call. Let's see how much we'll get. This is what the call is, right? Now have a check. Now I got the max of the first table, max is three. Now I have to find a way to remove this three in the second table. That means I should remove the second table, that value in the second table. How we can do it? In other words, I have this first table. Right? Let me show you that. So this is my left table. I should remove this ID from the right table, which is present in the right table. Obviously, it's going to be an anti-join. If I do an anti-join, what are the IDs present in this right table will be removed from the left table. In our case, it is three. Let's perform the anti-join. Well, anti-join is equal to take df2 which is actually the big table, this one, dot join with MACDF. Join this MACDF. Sequence of call, which is a common column between two of them. Then perform left and tick. Anti-join dot show. That's it. What are the IDs we have will be removed. Have a check. This is the first table. This is a second table. This is a max table. This is anti-join output. That is the required output I have checked. I'm giving this code in the project description, sorry, in this video description. Please complete. Thank you folks. Yeah.